one of the most conspicuous post-disaster impacts uh, that we tend to see in the wake of something like a wildfire um, comes due to the denuded uh, hillsides, landscapes that typically follow um, an intense fire. And that is the removal of vegetation, removal of soil stabilization. So when we do get um, the first good rains or you get into the rainy season, we tend to get a lot of erosion, a lot of runoff. Um, here in the Lahaina area, Lahaina district on Maui, um, we can see that right, right now in January of uh, 2024. So here, this particular area is a public beach and um, this is an area where folks that have lost their homes are here um, because there's nowhere else for them to go. And this is a public, uh, the beaches in Hawaii are public, but nevertheless, um, uh, they're not protected from the ravages of the wildfire. And so what we're looking at here is we're looking at this beach where um, uh, normally if, if this was a quote unquote normal year, we'd have, you know, tons of tourists out here and, 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 and folks fishing and all that kind of good stuff. Um, now um, it is, uh, we just had a, a second big rain uh, since we've been here and you can see a very clear demarcation of uh, the, the inshore area. We've had a lot of soil um, mobilized. So we can see pretty clearly a lot of chocolatey um, you know, tan water that should look, you know, blue or greenish color um, and so that's what these folks unfortunately are having to contend with that have lost their homes um, regardless of the particular situation erosion is always going to happen in the wake of wildfire um, every single time it's just a question of how intense it is and so usually we race to stabilize the soil stabilize watersheds things of that nature um, and it's usually a race between when that wildfire event happens and that those first rains hopefully those first rains are gentle and relatively mellow and only uh you know give a little bit of water a little bit of water a little bit of water um but if you have a, a huge downpour a huge torrential dump um very quickly or, or the, in, in the first of the season that's when we get a lot of soil etc mobilized um these folks here have the added uh problem of of having because of the circumstances, the circumstances have been relocated to a place that um, you know doesn't have the best water quality, and um, and so they're also having the problems of just general flooding, not so much erosion, but just general flooding in terms of where uh, 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 you know just trying trying to live on, make their daily uh, lives and everything. So erosion, clear component um, and clear part of the post-fire event and hopefully um, a key part of the recovery as we try to manage these uh, disasters after the proximate part of the damage happens.